Hi guys, in this video I'm going to tell you about a new feature we've added uh, which is pods support in unlimited elements. Pods is a custom content type and fields and plugin for WordPress which is free. Uh, you can search for it in the WP repository, download and activate. Once you activate you will see the pods admin in your WordPress menu. Before I'm going inside of pods and showing how it works and how it works with unlimited elements, first I will explain what I'm trying to achieve. So my client has a restaurant website and he's showing all his uh, menu items from the menu uh, using one of our widgets which is called thumbnail food menu. He can edit the items and, and change them and change the prices each time uh, he needs to. But this is not too comfortable for him uh, to go inside of Elementor each time and edit this stuff. He wants a simpler solution and a solution um, that you will be, be able to take many types of uh, widgets and inject them with the data from the custom post type that we will create. So let's jump in and go into pods admin and create new and we need a singular label and a plural label. So what we're the singular label is going to be called a menu item and the plural label is going to be called food menus, food menu. And next step once we've added this already, we can see in the side over here, food menu. Like we have posts and pages, now we have also food menu where we can add our menu items for this food menu. Before I'm going inside the food menu and adding some items, I want to add some custom fields. The custom fields I'm going to add, the first one is going to be price great it can be a plain text field and the next one will be the image of the menu item we can use this field over here great let's save that and for this tutorial I'm just gonna keep it simple but of course for example you could have added a more uh, attributes like uh, if it's vegan or not, if it's spicy or not, and uh, all the regular stuff you have in menus. So we've added these. I'm going to save that. Super important to save. And we're jumping into the food menus tab. Over here we don't have any yet because we didn't add. Let's add our first one. And I'm going to call this one Margarita Pizza. And over here will be the description. So it's going to be like cheese, tomatoes, and, and amazing sauce. Okay. So this is the description. This is the, we have a title and we have a description. And down here we can add the custom fields that we've just added, which are price and image. For image, let's upload some images. Super cool. I'm gonna select the first one, and we got this set up. I'm gonna publish this, and let's just add two new ones very, very quickly. Super. Let's take this image and publish. And I'm going to add another one. I'm going to call it spicy pizza.
super price. and an image save now before jumping into unlimited elements it's really important if you're going to use custom fields to go to create at least one and field like this for example purposes now I'm jumping into unlimited elements and what I want to edit is the thumbnail food menu Another way we could edit the thumbnail food menu is by uh, standing in the page, clicking on the widget, and, and clicking Edit Widget HTML. That's just a quick shortcut to go where you want. Over here, in Attributes, we're going to add a new attribute. The attribute is going to be called Post List. I'm going to call it Food Menu. And in example post, we need to take one of the posts we've just created. So I'm going to search for the word pizza. And I can take any one of these. It doesn't really matter. I'm going to take the spicy pizza one. We do need to select use custom fields because we've added custom fields to this post, new post type. And we've added that. Now in item attributes, all the attributes are gone because we're using a post list instead. Inside of HTML, we're going to replace the item attributes with the pods attributes. So first thing first is the title. I'm opening the item food menu and over here we can add the title from the custom post type. Inside, of, Instead of the text, we're going to inject inside the content instead of the price we're going to add our custom field now custom fields as you can see they're represented with a cf and so this is the cf one for the price and we need to replace our image let's go to custom field type image Perfect. I think we got everything set up and now it's time to test this. So I'm going back um, into Elementor. I'm going to refresh the page. And now the widget is showing um, posts and all categories. We need to change that from posts to our custom post type, which is menu items. For our restaurant and perfect now it's showing the items from our custom post type that we've created with the custom fields that we have added to the custom post type and all the data is coming dynamically now and our client doesn't need to enter inside of Elementor to change this thank you for joining and this uh, video about this new feature update please subscribe and to get noticed about new feature updates thank you